we're going to try to help out the folks over at assisted living facility here in Wheat Ridge. Hector's going to go over and bring back their pets. Unfortunately, right now with the pandemic going on, older folks are at a higher risk, so uh, they can't really bring the animals out to us. We're going to do some vaccinations, some exams, some nail trim. Hey, you must you? be Hector. Chris? Yep, I'm Chris. Come on in and I'll introduce you to the, the animals uh, one at a time. Uh -huh. The health department has us on like a certain restriction for lockdown. So even getting to the vet is impossible for these guys. We started calling around to different animal places and we found Jeff. It was awesome to see that there was another community during a pandemic like this wanting to help us out. Hi, buddy. That's Bobo. Bobo, all right. He's a good companion to you. Huh? He's everything to me. I don't have any family hmm. and that that's my family right there. There you go. Is he's got an ear infection, I think. Okay. He won't let me clean his ears because I guess it hurts him. So I, I just quit messing with him. He used to let me rub his belly, but not no more. It's real tender down there. Okay. So. He looks like he likes to eat a little bit. Yeah, he likes to eat. <laughs> and <laughs> everybody likes to feed him, too. Oh, yeah. We'll take him back over to the office. Uh, Dr. Okay. Jeff, uh, take a look at him. Please tell Dr. Going Jeff on. how much I appreciate I, I will. I would definitely will. All right, Bobo. This is Macker. Looks like a pretty good looking cat. He needs to have his rabies booster, nails trimmed. How old is he? 13. My, my adult daughter suggested that I get a cat, so well, I'm good. awfully glad I did. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take Macker. Be good, Macker. <laughs> Listen to your dad. During the pandemic, the best thing that you could have is an animal. It's real tough, because you can see it in their eyes that as you're taking the animals away from them, they're like, please come back. You know, you can see the feeling and emotion attachment that they have to them. So no trim, and then we're going to also do an exam? Yeah. They love them, and it's sometimes the only thing they have. Bye, honey. Yeah, we'll take good care of them. This one is Lily. OK. And how old is Lily? Lily's 14. She's a pretty little girl and friendly under most circumstances. <laughs> right. When was the last time she went to the vets? Not recently. OK. All right. You come back soon, baby girl. Oh, yeah. We don't like to be apart. All right, you'll go here, Lily. I can see where some of these people are coming from. Because as a child, just being poor, it was tough. So to be able to help people like this, I feel like it feeds my soul um, to keep doing and, and feel better about life. So these are the animals from the assisted living facility? Yep. yep. So we have the cat, one chubby dog. A dog? Bobo. Oh. Yeah, he barely fit in oh. it. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's get him in the back, and now we'll start checking him out. God, he really is heavy. I told you. I think a yearly exam is definitely a great idea. It's much harder to bring something back from a major issue than from a minor issue. You know, it's a lot less expensive. So, you know, we're going to do some checkups. They can't come to us, and it's just one way to reach out and, and help our community during this time of COVID. You're a chubster. You're a chubster, Bob. Can you get out of there? Come on. Oh, come on. You barely fit. Come on. Oh. So the owner said that he might have an ear infection because he's yeah, trying, got, kind of cleaning it up. Yeah, no, they got, they, they definitely look like a little yeasty. So let's name on with some drops. They should clear that up just by keeping the, the ear clean and dry you can really solve a lot of problems. The most important thing they could do for him is drop his weight a little bit. He said that sometimes he can't control because other, he goes around with all the other residents and I think they overfeed him. Well, you I think? think? they all give him treats and stuff. Because he's really we need, friendly. We need to talk to him about it. He's gonna have joint problems, diabetes. I mean, he's a friendly guy and I understand that, you know, he wanders around and everybody feeds him, you know, but they're not doing him any favors by doing this. And he definitely needs to be walked a little bit more. I think we ought to get blood from him. I just want to see what his glucose is doing, what his liver is doing, things like that. But you know, he is older and he could have some thyroid issues. There you go. Good boy. Sweet. Tell me a little sausage. The bottom line is we eat for a lot of reasons, you know. And when we give food to animals or even people, many times it's, it's about our own emotional needs. Oh, come on out. This is Sylvester. You're right, bud. He got some big old teeth. Can you hold him for a second? I want to listen to his heart. All right. Just relax. It's okay. Oh, Sylvester's in great shape. 
He's just scared. Good boy. We're going to trim their nails up, and that's real important in an assisted living place because as you get older, your skin gets really soft, and cats, as they just jump off, they can scratch uh, your skin and cause some problems. All right. Get back in there. Yep. All right, buddy. Which one is this? A lily. 14 oh. years old. Oh, yeah. She's look good. All right, are we doing shots for her? No, I think this one just needed a nail trim yeah, good and luck an exam. I know. Back legs first. Not quick her. Oh, I know. <laughs> cover up, cover up. All right, hurry up, though. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Real feisty. That ain't feisty. <laughs> so, do we have the blood work on the dog yet? Uh, I think we have it running. Mackler, you're gonna be nice. Raven exam, good, nail trim, and shots. Oh, you got no teeth left, hardly. Chip the tartar off. Hey, bud. He's got his shots. All right, buddy. Oh, dude, you don't care, huh? Nice. All right, Macker. All done there. All right, well, let's put him somewhere and let him calm down a little bit. We got the blood work back on Bobo, and his kidneys look good. Liver enzymes look fairly normal. That's good. He's low normal for thyroid. Not a real shocker. He's an older dog. I think you just need to stop with the treats. OK, Bobo. <laughs> this is a wall-to-wall -wall dog. He needs to eat less, he exercise more. And just tell Chris, you know, that obviously there's no charge for this. All right, I'll let him know. They depend on their dogs and their cats as their best friends. It's about loneliness, and that's the one thing animals are real good at, is, is you know, they give love freely, and they don't ask for a whole lot in return. We have uh, Bobo and the cats. We were able to do some nail trims, some exams, some vaccines. That so is awesome. awesome. Thank you so much. The nervousness they had while the animals were gone was, it was kind of shocking, but like how they were so anxious. But they know their animal's healthy now. They, they know they're doing their part of taking care of the animal. Hey boy. All right, so we ended up doing rabies distemper and oh. then uh, we trimmed his nails. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so everything looks pretty good. Uh -huh. Really appreciate it. For sure. Well, you gained weight while you were gone. <laughs> well, you do, baby. Hey, come Bobo, on, I know, I know. Yeah, come on, oh, baby. Bobo. Where are you going? <laughs> So, Bobo, come here, baby. Yeah, you're scared. So we too. did do some blood work on Bobo. You did? Yes. Uh, his glucose, which is like his sugar level, is a little high. It's because he's pretty, he's pretty obese for for a uh, for a little guy like this, you know. I'll put him on diet. Yeah. So so, so I know you can only control so much because there's other people that feed him. You were telling me earlier. Love, yeah. If uh, he does lose, you know, five eight pounds. He's definitely gonna live a lot longer for you. Well, well I'm gonna try it. I'll, I'll, I'll make him lose that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Are you gonna tell everybody, look, Bobo needs to lose weight. Don't don't feed him nothing. It's for his own good, you know.